In any tragedy, we must never lose sight of those who are left behind, those who carry the burden of losing a family member to a terrorist act. They are living memorials and can be our most valuable ambassadors for change. My name is Francesca Pisserno, and I lost my dad on 9-11. He worked in Kenneth Fitzgerald in the Twin Towers. So I've been through um, three Tuesday's Children programs. I've done um, Take Your Child to Work Day, I think, three times. Tuesday's Children also works with its corporate partners on Take Your Children to Work Day. One year we went to Michael Kors, and we got to meet Michael Kors. And I actually wear a Michael Kors purse every day, so like he's my favorite designer. Uh, in past years, I've gone to the NHL headquarters, MTV headquarters, uh, the Police Special Forces Unit, and uh, this year I'm going to Morgan Stanley. Well, Marshall McLennan is, an insur is insurance, and well, every year for Tuesday Children, I've been going to um, sports, so I really, it's going to be really interesting seeing what the um, financial parts of everything is, and I thought it be, it's going to be a lot of fun. We continue to offer mental health counseling, psychoeducational workshops, keynote talks, and seminars that promote resiliency and wellness. Family engagement, held in various locations throughout the tri-state area, is attended by approximately 800 participants annually. Events like this are great. It takes your mind off of, um, you know, what, what you've been through as well as makes you feel appreciated. You know, it makes you feel everybody coming up to you, shaking your hand, thanking you, and, uh, you know, getting to go see, a, you know, your favorite baseball team. Can't, you can't beat it. We had to do a photo shoot with Bill O'Reilly and um, other Tuesday Trojan kids with my, and my brother. And that was so great because I like Bill O'Reilly a lot. Actually, my family really likes him. Yeah, he's a really nice guy as well. Family engagement events enhance resilience, build relationships among Tuesday's children families, create positive new traditions, and facilitate outreach. So Helping Heals, um, we went to Austin, Texas, rebuilding houses for families in need. It feels really empowering to rebuild somebody's house because they can't afford it or they can't do it themselves or just to be able to help somebody put a roof over their own head. Tuesday's Children has many years experience providing career guidance to the families directly impacted by the tragedy of September 11th. People say it all the time, cater your resume, make it, you know, specific to the target. The Career Resource Center is a critical part of what Tuesday's Children is all about. Uh, we're here to help these young adults as they transform and go through different stages of their lives, whether it's through take your children to work, uh, helping them to get internship opportunities, and helping them get the kind of networking and support that they need to help get into uh, managing their own careers. Mentoring relationships enable children to grow emotionally and socially, build resilience, and develop coping skills while encouraging them to make healthy choices. The mentoring program is really nice. Uh, I, I have a mentor and he's a really great guy and without him I actually wouldn't be going to the school I'm going to now. I go to Regis High School and he went to Regis High School and I was not going to go to a pri private school at all. I was going to go to the public school but he was like, Brendan, you're a really smart kid. I think you should try, you should apply. And I applied late, but I got in and I was really happy about that. And without the mentoring program, I never would have been pushed to go to a really good private school. And that's gonna really help my future. Tuesday's Children has been serving the 9-11 community, including children, spouses, families, first responders, and veterans, by implementing a long-term healing model. I think the programs are great. It keeps the, the children who are growing up now and, you know, now teenagers, you know, in the loop of recovery, which is so important. Tuesday's Children's strength is based on community. Connecting those with similar experiences has a profound and positive impact on their collective healing. It's fun because I get to meet other kids that had their parents in the same experiences as my dad and we have a lot in common and we get to do stuff together. I was in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade with them and we got to kick off the start of the parade and walk the whole parade route. Tuesday's Children's Mission has expanded to include veterans of post 9-11 combat as well as families of the fallen. I'm Taryn Davis with the American Widow Project. We're a national nonprofit that unifies, educates, and empowers our nation's military widows. Through Tuesday's Children, we were excited to hear this program, the American Widows Project. We can reach other women. It's kind of like a pay it forward program. A lot of people 
helped us through 9-11 and these widows, husbands sacrificed their lives because of 9-11. Uh, my experience working with Tuesday's children is they contacted us, they loved our programs and what we were doing to make military widows see that they could not only survive after the loss of their husband but thrive. Programs that enable 9-11 families to pay it forward create a profound and unique hailing dynamic for those who answer the call. And we just want to share our knowledge with them and put them under our wing and say, it takes time, but you'll get there, and we love you, and we appreciate your husbands for what they did. This time together is allowing 9-11 widows to be a source of inspiration and overall support to military widows whose husbands literally gave their lives because of what happened on September 11th. In response to the December 2012 shootings at Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown, Connecticut, and in a partnership with the members of the Newtown community, Tuesday's Children opened the Resiliency Center of Newtown, once again implementing our long-term healing model. Tuesday's Children staff have shared with me some lessons learned. Their success, programs, expertise, knowledge helps the Resiliency Center just get up and rolling with people who have done it before, have done it well, and have a proven success record. PCB is the first time I ever sang in front of a crowd. So that's pretty interesting because now that's my career. Both my brothers were at DC with me and they were like, yeah, let's do something for the town show. Let's Don't sing, stop. yeah, let's sing Journey. And I was like, okay, I love that song. Don't stop and afterwards everyone was like, wow, you have a great voice. Why don't you sing? And I was like, I don't know. And then I got hooked up with this producer and he said, you need to write your own songs. And I was like, I don't know how, I've never written a song. And he was like, okay, here's pen and paper, sit down, write a song. One interesting song I have is about my dad and it's super uncomfortable. But then you really think about it and you go through experiences like this at Project Common Bond and you realize that you're not alone and you're not crazy. You are not defined by the things that you go through in your life. You're only defined by what you do after those things happen. Do you take it out of everybody else around you? Or do you completely change the perspective and turn it into something awesome and help others around you that don't, that haven't really got it yet and haven't really figured it out? My message in the song is to let people know we are not fragile or breakable or defined by the tragedy that we went through. We're not defined by the terrorist attack or the ignorance of other people, but we're defined about what we do with all of that hate and prejudice and racism. If we decide to be a leader, if we decide to make peace with people that we don't really expect, no matter what it is, it can always be turned into something positive. Take the and that's what the song is called. It's called Turn It Into Love. I really hope it changed somebody's uh, perspective. The whole peace movement that everybody always tries to, you know, bring upon everybody else. There's so much you can do, but there's only so many people that will actually listen. It makes me feel great that there are other people out there who understand what we feel and they understand that we've gone through a loss and that they want to help. And it makes me it makes me happy that there are people out there that want to help us. Without Tuesday's Children, I probably wouldn't have been who I am now because they helped me and my family heal and mostly to just help us whenever like we needed something. Because they're helping so many people in um, different ways, shapes, and forms. And it makes a huge difference. But if you can just get one person to listen, that makes a huge difference. Just one person, that's all it takes. Because then that one person tells another person, hey, did you listen to this, or did you hear that? And then that person tells a couple other people. And then it's just a chain reaction, a domino effect. And that's what I'm hoping. I got